So Black Isle Studios, um, obviously it. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding. It didn't go well. Um, on side, I'm still very sad. That can go on. I won't get too choked up. Um, <sighs> can you talk about the reasons why it was dissolved? Just for the we're you know trying to give ideas to game developers so they understand you know all areas of what may happen to them in a company. Um, so uh, just to be clear, I wasn't there when Black Isle was actually dissolved. Um, uh, I do know that the circumstances leading up uh, to what happened with Black Isle were pretty complicated. Um, generally, the way things were going for the last few years at Black Isle were we were being asked to turn out RPGs at a very increasingly rapid rate. It seemed like no matter how successful the last RPG we did was, it wouldn't matter we would be expected to do another sequel to that in less time, uh, which created a lot of pressure in the studio, um, which, you know, which, which happens. Uh, and I understand why they asked for it. Um, uh, the company was in pretty bad financial straits and there weren't a lot of divisions in the company that were still doing products that were com being completed or were making a lot of, um, so, uh, what what was kind of like the big uh, the big breaking points? Well, for the for the end period of time that I was there, um, the first thing that struck me is no matter how hard you worked at Interplay, um, there was a chance that all your work would be for nothing because of events that were out of your control, and that's that can be true of any business. But when we lost Baldur's Gate 3 because of an accounting error, um, and then like Atari got all the rights of D&D, &D, and then like we watched like a year and a half of work from various artists and designers, like just all went down the toilet. Like that wasn't something that we had done or we had failed on. It was something that someone else had dropped the ball on. So... That really was a big hit to morale, and a number of people left at that point. Um, one good thing about it was we were able to move people onto doing a Fallout 3 pretty quickly. And like doing working on a Fallout game is something that people really wanted to do. So that was a big morale boost. Um, however, for me personally, because of what happened with Baldur's Gate 3, it was very, very difficult for me to see the the light at the end of the tunnel for Fallout 3. I'm like, you know what, no matter how much I care about this product, uh, no matter how much I want to see it through, it's ultimately going to be out of my control. And, but I'm like, you know what, at least we can keep going ahead, you know, we can see how this works out. And then um, Fergus... Uh, left Black Isle, and Fergus was the head of Black Isle at the time, and Ver Fergus was the one who was kind of, you know, pardon my French, but he was the shit umbrella for the division. Like, all the stuff that Executive Rowe would ask for would be channeled through Fergus, and he would, like, take it into his emotional damper and then translate it into more reasonable tasks and a more a more polite way of how the request should be phrased and putting a positive spin on it, which, you know, is what a director is supposed to do. However, when Fergus came into my office and said, you know what, uh, I'm being asked to leave, <laughs> I'm like, well, I would like to quit right now. <laughs> and Fergus goes, you know what, um, I'm not sure there's, there's anything else going on, so why don't... You know, you just make your own decision, and I just want to let you know that this is my last day, and it was a pleasure working with you, and goodbye. And then he left the office, and I'm sitting there, and I'm going, okay, so I'm working on a project that I don't think is going to reach completion because Executive Row may decide to cancel it, or there might be some error that just causes all the work to get flushed. And also, the boss I respect has just told me that he's been asked to leave. So I'm like, at that point, I'm kind of done. Like, I'm like, you know what, uh, I'm going to draft up my resignation letter, and I am just going to go. And I'm sure many other people felt the same way. So uh, I was one of many people that resigned. Um, so I left the company. Uh, then me and Fergus had a conversation about, hey, you know what, um, 
what if we did Black Isle Summit somewhere else uh, outside of the umbrella of Interplay and we did the kind of RPGs we wanted to do and let's imagine for a second that all those profitable projects that we did that didn't end up being very helpful for the company overall was helpful in a more focused company format. Like, we could probably survive and be happy doing projects like that. And then once we started Obsidian up, uh, a number of people from Black Isle quit because I believe that they would rather work with Fergus than continue to work at Interplay. And unfortunately, a few months after um, we left, uh, they did cancel Fallout 3. And it was because the title, as I understand it, didn't have like a strong console focus. And I, I, I'm, I'm talking secondhand here because I wasn't there for the decision. But ultimately, yes, that project was canceled. And I don't believe it was for a reason that was in the development team's control. And from everything I've heard, it sounded very unfair. And all I can say is I'm really glad we had a chance to work on Fallout New Vegas. That's a, a much longer, sadder story than you were than you were intending. But there you go. 